So today we're going to look at the x-intercept. And we've looked before at finding the y-intercept. And when our line is in the form y equals mx plus c, we all know that this number that's by itself is our y-intercept. So in order to help you see where the x-intercept is, we're going to complete this table of values. We're going to complete the table of values from minus 3 to 2. So x is going to go from minus 3 all the way up to 2. Now, I'd like you all to remember that the x value should go in order from smallest to largest. And that's something that some of us have been making a few mistakes with. So now I'm going to fill in the y value. So when x is negative 3, come down to the line, I can read off y is negative 1. When x is negative 2, y is 0. When x is negative 1, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 1, y is 3. And so on when x is 2, y is 4. Now we all can see on this line it's been noted where the y-intercept is. And we also know from our previous work that the y-intercept occurs when x is 0. And so I want you to take note of here is my x-intercept. It's where it's cutting the x-axis. And that occurs when y is 0. So I've got negative 2, 0. So when y is 0, we have our x-intercept. So let's have a look at how we can use this. For these graphs of rules, find the x-intercept. Well, the x-intercept occurs when y equals 0. So I'm replacing y with 0. 0 equals 3x minus 6. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And I end up with 6 equals 3x. I divide both sides by 3. And I end up with x equals 2. So the y-intercept of that straight line is x equals 2. So I'm now going to do part B, but I think it would be very useful for you to pause the video and have a go at doing it yourself. So when y equals 0, I replace y with 0 equals negative 2x plus 1. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. Now be very careful. I've got 0 take away 1, which is negative 1, equals negative 2x. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. And I'm going to have x equals, now negative 1 divided by negative 2, the two negatives make a positive, so I get x is a half. For question 2, find the x and y intercepts and then sketch the graph. Well, I've told you before that the very best way of drawing a straight line is just to have two points. And those two points are very helpful if they are your x and y intercept. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is my y intercept. And I can see that the y-intercept is here, and that is when I've got negative 4. And now I'm going to find my x-intercept, and we know that the x-intercept occurs when y equals 0. So now I'm going to have 0 equals 2x minus 4, and I'm going to solve this equation. I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and so I end up with 4 equals 2x and I'm going to divide both sides by 2 and I end up with x equals 2. So I've got y equals negative 4, I've got x equals 2, I only need two points to draw a straight line. I'm going to draw my straight line, I put arrows on the end and I always label it, this is the line, y equals 2x minus 4. And that's all there is to the work on the x-intercept. I'll see you later.